Chairman, uh, Mr. Chin, in, in uh, Central Ohio, this make-believe problem um, has caused the Ohio State University to lower the cap on student work hours to below 30 hours. They're not the only four-year college to have announced that. Students have been impacted. Columbus State Community College has reduced hours for adjunct professors, adjunct faculty, and hourly workers to less than 30 hours a week as a result of the Affordable Care Act. The Upper Arlington City School District has already cut hours for aides who work with disabled students from 32 and a half hours per week to 28 hours per week, citing the Affordable Care Act. In uh, my sister's city, where she lives with her two sons and her husband, Lebanon, Ohio, reduced the hours of 18 part-time paramedics and fighter fighters. Public Safety Director Mike Michael Blackwell said, and I quote, we were scheduling most of our part-time workers to about 39 hours a week. With Obamacare and the regulations that follow, we cut all those part-time employees down to less than 29 hours per week. And many towns who employ part-time paramedics and, and EMTs have done the same thing throughout the state where I live. How does a 30-hour a rule uh, that some call preposterous, others say is make-believe, impact a typical paramedic who now is working less than 30 hours a week? Uh, Congressman Tiberi, the typical uh, paramedic probably uh, makes about $11 an hour. And if the work is cut from 39 hours a week to 20 hour, 29 hours a week, that paramedic loses about 25 percent of his or her pay. In a similar fashion, if it's cut from 39, uh, excuse me, from 35 down to 29, they lose about 17 percent of their pay. So obviously there, there is a, a negative impact uh, with respect to those folks. I, I ran into a lady at the grocery store who was working part-time for a retail employer and she was provided health care. She lost her health care this month um, and her hours were reduced to less than 30 hours a week and she was fine working part-time. Her husband's an independent contractor, did not get health care through his, his work. And so she took a pay cut. She lost her ability to purchase insurance. She took a second part-time job so her and her husband could afford to go onto the exchange and make up for the fact that she lost insurance and, and lost hours. Is that something typical that you've heard among the three million people who now are getting health care in the exchange who were forced off because they either uh, no longer qualified because of 30-hour work week or as a spouse they lost their coverage through their, their, their working spouse? Uh, yes, sir. Th those stories are are quite common uh, and, and, and in fact I think the incentives are aligned in such a way that uh, you may be hearing more of those kinds of stories. So I received an email from a constituent in New Albany. Her 25-year-old son-in-law was offered a full-time position with a retail company in Ohio. He accepted the job, eligible to receive health care benefits after six months on the job. And according to her, it was, quote, a godsend for him and her daughter, who had an 11-month-old baby at the time, and, her, and her, her daughter was pregnant with another on the way. After four months on the job, because of the ACA requirement, his employer cut his hours to less than 30 hours per week, no longer eligible for health care benefits. Uh, they were forced to give up their apartment, move in with family, and now can't locate full-time work with another employer due to this fear of the, the uh, regulation. Is that something you've heard as well? Yes, sir, it is. Um, Mr. Anastos, uh, pretty clear that the 30-hour rule is forcing employers to cut back on hours. You were beginning to talk about the food service industry. White Castle's headquartered in Columbus. They have already made this announcement in July that they were going to uh, hire all new people at less than 30 hours because of the mandate. Have you heard this happening across the fast food sector and retail sector? Can you turn on your microphone? Can you right. In fact, that grocery store was the same story I heard last week where a woman was looking off, I mean, where she said the same thing and she, her hours were cut. But, you know, I just like to say that we're not all, you know, record profits and Wall Street companies. I mean, I started painting houses and working in a Wonder Bread factory as a union worker. And what I'm getting at is we don't have that. So we're going to double and triple our health cost. I mean, small business is like the golden goose of job creation. I mean, how much more can they put on us? And um, 
but as far as managing to 30 hours, yes. Those three new hotels, which we'll be building, and we're building them because we're building them essentially with other people's money, is that um, we will manage those to 30 hours because we have to find out how viable that business is. Thank All you. Right. I yield back. Thank you.